Nigeria Super Eagles are gearing up for a crucial World Cup qualifier against their African rivals, South Africa. This key encounter will take place on Friday, that's tomorrow the 7th of June, at the Gold uh, Godswin Akbabu International Stadium in Uyo, Nigeria. The Super Eagles are looking to pounce back after two opening draws and will be aiming for a win against Bafana Bafana. With new players joining the squad, the pressure is now on. Our correspondent Oye, uh, Oye rather, um, Oboro is live in Uyo as we speak to give us updates on exactly what's happening there. Oye, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon to you, Maxino. Thank you very much. Now, Oye, please, can you describe to us exactly the atmosphere in Uyo? Is there a sense of excitement or anticipation for, uh, from the fans about the upcoming match against South Africa? Yes, there is a sense of uh, excitement, anticipation. They're also crossing their fingers, hoping that Coach Finiti George can hand them another win at the Gospel of Pabio International Stadium. Uh, the early hours of this morning has been pouring. Um, showers of blessing, of course. Um, Bring in um, good tidings ahead of that uh, crucial encounter for Nigeria against uh, South Africa, Bafana Bafana. You can see me donning the orange color. This is the theme color for Akwai Bom um, State. So you should say, you should call me Eno <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> but great well, atmosphere here. Uh, we are, <laughs> well, we're we are add at that the Uyo Township Stadium. So very interesting to see that uh, a lot of them are anticipating a good outing for the Super Eagles of Nigeria. But a little update from the South African camp. In a conversation with uh, the media officer of uh, the Bafana Bafana, uh, Titus Romy, he just um, confirmed to me that um, they are in Nigeria. It's a wet morning, as I did say earlier, and uh, Bafana Bafana squad were held in Port Accord. They had to sleep at the airport. Now, miscommunication between the South African Football Association and the Nigerian Airport Authority. Uh, here, we, we, we headed over to the airport at hearing that they were in Nigeria. We headed to the Uyo airport. But at that time, as at 8, the airport was closed. So you should understand that that's the reason why they could not get a, a flight from Port Accord down to Uyo, so they had to sleep at the airport. But remember that this team had a delayed flight from their chartered flight all the way from South Africa, and now miscommunication has made them sleep over at the Port Harcourt Airport. But right now, they are in Uyo. A wet morning, they came in uh, the early hours of this morning, that's uh, around like um, 11 a.m., uh, uh, I beg your pardon, 11 a.m., yes, of course, uh, and they came in in that wet um, weather struggled with their baggages and all but they will have to train at 8 p.m after the super eagles of nigeria trains as at 6 p.m um today at the gospel aquabio international stadium yes for coach finiti george he has got the complete squad 23 players are now in camp maduka okoye arrived camp as at 11 p.m yesterday so coach finiti has got his complete squad but there, there are really questions around maduka having to start for the super eagles of nigeria after making it just a um, few a day and few hours before the crucial catch, uh, clash against South Africa. Okay, so oh yeah, regarding the travel troubles that the South Africans are having, uh, Bafana Bafana, is there any agitations regarding how it might affect the performance of the Bafana Bafana? Yes, there are agitations online, of course, because the truth is they've got few or few fans here in Nigeria. Most uh, fans here are patriotic Nigerians. So what we see online are agitations, gimmicks that Nigerians are playing gimmicks uh, against the super, um, the Bafana Bafana of South Africa. That's what we hear. But it's just miscommunication. The truth that um, they had their delayed flight all the way from South Africa and could not communicate with the Nigerian Airport Authority. Um, airport closes in Uyo here at 8 p.m. and they had to be held in Port Harcourt. They had no choice. The airport in Uyo, they couldn't get a, a flight down from Port Harcourt to Uyo only if they make it by road, and that can really affect them. But they had to stay over at the airport in Podakot and then make it down here this morning. They get only to play, um, to train at 8 p.m., and hopefully they get to train again in the early hours, in the mor morning. That's for game day. I'm just crossing my fingers that that can happen. But they've only got 8 p.m. to train at this time. Agitations online, oh, yes, that Nigerians are playing gimmicks against them, that we've got a plan to, you know, um, get, have an edge, the home advantage, and also play the game so that we can have an advantage in that encounter. But I, do, I tell you for a fact that that's not the situation. 
this miscommunication over there between the South African Football Association and Nigeria uh, Airport Authority. But I did listen to the coach, Hugo Bruce, who said that they would not be coming for revenge. But very important for them is a win here in Uyo, and he'll be looking to, to grab that win at the Gospel of Pabio International Stadium. He understands that there are changes in the squad, there are changes in the technical staff, and he will not be taking chances, he will not underestimate the new hands that will be coaching the Super Eagles of Nigeria and also the new players that have been invited. Well, we're also looking to win. Thank you very much, Onye Eno Obara, for bringing us that little report. Thank you indeed.